welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm playing once again with the idea of string and chain paws. For those of you who are new to my channel, um, this is for a challenge that we're doing in the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. And um, the, the challenge for me is to actually see how many ways I can do string and um, chain pause different because there's so many ways that you can do it. Okay, so as you can see, I have put a base coat of white on there. When I do base coats like this, I use spring um, house paint from Bunnings which is um, an indoor outdoor uh, acrylic paint or latex paint as you guys in America call it it's a cheap one it's um, it's cheap it does the job and I mix it with Floetrol and PVA glue um, so yeah now what I'm going to do with this one is I want to combine both a chain pull with a string pull. So I've been toying with different ideas and different possibilities and I think I've got what it is I desire. So I'm only going to use two colours to go with my white. And I think I'm getting over my hatred of pink. So I think that's probably why I'm allowing myself to use the crimson red. <laughs> this crimson red um, actually doesn't look very crimson on my screen. I hope it does on yours. Um, it's the one that I use all the time. So if you've been watching me for a while, you will recognize that. That one's already got silicon in it. Again, mixed just with Floetrol and water, no PVA in my colours. This one is um, turquoise. Does it look turquoise to you? I hope so. We're getting to the time of year that the time of day that I paint, I'm not getting a lot of daylight. So we're under um, internal lighting. Um, and I'm just going to add one, two, three drops to this. There's about an, I don't know, an ounce of paint, ounce and a half of paint in there. Uh, and the silicon that I use is actually dimethicone. Um, and dimethicone is a type of silicon. And that one's quite thick. Probably should have thinned that down before I put the silicon in. I use this one, which you could find at an adult shop or in New Zealand. It's sold in the um, toiletries aisle, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, that one is 100% dimethicone, so that's why I use it. Now, what I'm going to do, and I'm, I'm a bit jittery about this. Here's a question. When you get jittery about something, are you excited or are you nervous? Because they actually have the same energetic response in your body. So uh, it's a good question to ask. Am I excited or am I nervous? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to do the chain first and I'm going to do the chain in the turquoise so let's get rid of that stick so that we can get into there and I'm just going to drop my chain in like that just make sure that there's paint on all of it and just jiggle it a little bit to the point where it gets rid of that big blob. <laughs> Here we go. Just get la the large quantities off. 
Now, I haven't really thought the next bit through. <laughs> I think what I'm going to have to do is bring the chain over to the side. And I'm going to... Ah, uh, I was hoping it wouldn't drip. But it's dripping. Okay, that's fine. We can cope with drips, can't we? Now, let's go in on the other end and do the same thing. Eek. Okay, can you, no, you guys can't see what I've got. So I've got, got that mess. <laughs> and I'm just going to put my hands at the bottom and pull up so that we get a jewel chain pull to the middle. Okay. hadn't planned to have a big blob there and I'd hoped that they'd look more like that both look like more like that <laughs> oh well that's okay right now I'm gonna do the same thing with the red now that I've got blue all over my hands let's use the stick to plunk it all down under there so that it gets covered completely sorry about my arm and let's get the large quantities of paint off there okay and we're gonna I wanna ah, what do I want to do Oh, they're going to go the same way. I didn't want them to go the same way. Uh, Alright, we now have a big pile of paint in the middle. Um which I don't want there. So, I am going to extract it with one of my little extractor things. So I'm just using this little It's kind of like a um eyedropper. And then I'm gonna Just running my finger over the string just to get the bulk of the paint off and then twist it into a circle. I'm just playing guys 
I had that blob of paint, so why not? Create something with it. Hmm? If you got it, flaunt it. Gonna do it again on each of those blobs. Ah, without getting my fingers in it. Just place it down around. And drag. Ta da! I like it. Now, I'm seeing air bubbles, I'm seeing cells. We do have silicon in both those colours, so let's see. If we go over this with the torch, let's see. So this is a butane fire torch. Woo! The red's definitely got cells happening. That's exciting. I think the blue's got a little bit too much paint to actually uncover anything. I'm seeing cells in this blue, but it's not... because there's nothing else and I've probably dragged the white out from underneath it but what is getting created is we're getting some bleeding cells so this is where the silicon rises to the top look at that need to plug my power cord into my phone there we go I like it I like it it's probably a little bit too symmetrical for some people but you know what oh, I like that um, there's enough unevenness in the there's a big blob of turquoise down the side here I'm just running white paint over it to get it to run off <laughs> that's so cool get some more white paint and just uh that didn't work Let's get some of these extra color dots off here and refill them. it a lot so there's a lot more paint in the blue chain look at this it's still got probably enough to do three more paintings still in the chain 
who knows I might just do that <laughs> um, so I would probably use less on the chain in the future um, this side here had dripped can you see that big blue blob there while I was laying it down in here it had had time to drip some off so we didn't get quite as much in there um, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So let me get you down. Give you a bit more of a clear shot. And then we will leave it to dry. Okay. All right. It's coming down to show you. Look at this. It's so pretty. Ugh. So see what I mean by it's bleeding into the white? Oh, I like that. That's so pretty. That's so cool. Here you go, bleeding again. But this centerpiece is very cool. I really like that. Some very cute little cells on some of these. Look at this one. Ah, I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, which way do I need to turn? I think that's the right way around for you to see this. Um, do you see his nose and his chin and his bald head? <laughs> Oh, I think he's lovely. Huh. Right then. How does it get any better than that? Oh, let's sneak a little peek down under here. I might capture that on a cabochon. Because that is cool. Give me two seconds while I set that up for you. Okay. So. I really like that but I want to capture the whole thing it looks to me like a bird's head and another bird's claw um, or the same bird and they've been dissected it's been dissected so I'm just going to add a little bit more paint around because it's not quite the right size for the cabochon that I want to use um, and the one I want to put this on is a rectangle I've got the camera very close here so as you can see I've got the cabochon which is made of glass on the rounded side is using is stuck to some blue tack can't even get it to focus this close and then onto a stick so I can hold it and I'm just going to dip flat side down into the paint got the picture and now smush to get the edges and we picked it up look at that probably put it that way it doesn't quite work but we'll see how it dries And let's see if, if there's any cells in here.
Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 so pretty. What shape does that want to be on? I don't think we're going to capture all of it. Reminds me of Manny from, um, what's that kid's movie? There was, I think it was End of the Earth type stuff. Um, and Manny was a mammoth. He was the last mammoth and he hung out with a sloth. Does anyone remember the name of that movie? <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you remember the name of that movie. There's like three of them or maybe even four. He ends up finding another one and having a baby. Uh, anyway, beside the buy, that's far too much irrelevant information. Where are my other shapes? Uh, do, 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 do. I think we're going to go for a round one. see what I got because I don't think I got anything relevant to Manny oh, sort of vaguely no don't think that one's quite what I was after but it's pretty you can sit and play with this stuff for hours So, so pretty. All right. No, I'm going to leave it. What else is possible? I do like that, though. That's funky. Funky, chunky. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to put this chain back in its pot with the rest of the paint. And you can bet your bottom dollar that there's going to be another video tomorrow. Because I've got to go cook dinner now. You got to go and that will include that turquoise chain. <laughs> Yay! How much fun can I have? All right, beautiful people. I will see you when these are dry in three, two, one. All right. Well... It's dried almost exactly as it was before we left. And I really like it. Uh, I still can see my big nosed man. <laughs> Do you see him? You know what? With these buffy shoulder paddy things, he looks like he's from some medieval kind of fancy court. With a big snort. News. Uh, yes, yes. Well, welcome to my humble castle. <laughs> my shoulder pads are bigger than yours. <laughs> oh, can you tell what I've been watching <laughs> videos about? That's it. English history. Castles. I love castles. Um, what would it take for me to come to England and play in some castles and teach them how to paint? <laughs> What I want to show you though is there's actually texture on these leaves. Let me see if I can capture it. Look, there's stripes, stripe marks. You see them? Where the chain is pulled through. There's some on that one as well. I think they're cool. I really like it. And I. I really do think I know what it looks like. It's his reflection in the water. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's just wrong. All right, because the reflection goes the wrong way. Check it. Look. 
shoulder pads high on that side and high on that side so it, it's not a complete reflection no we're not going to call it water reflection unless we call it water reflection that went wrong <laughs> Uh, but I do like it. Maybe those are his pink, pink farts. Sorry, that was inappropriate, Michelle. Which way round would you have it? Let's let's use the man's head as your guiding force. Would you hang it with him to the left, to the right, to the top, or the bottom? How would you hang it? Let's just take these. Sometimes our tins get a bit stuck with the paint that... Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. Um, no, that hasn't dropped it down far enough. To... It's better, though, isn't it? Yep. I was just trying to lower it. Anyway. Um, so, what if we do that? We can see the whole thing there now. So, with him at the top... The left, no, he's at the right now. The bottom, or the left. How would you hang it? Me, I'm going for that way. What else is possible? What would you choose? And look at the colour of my hands. Guess what colour I've been using. Yes, I'm using that turquoise again. You know how I told you I would reuse that chain that was dipped in the turquoise? I did that today. So that'll be showing up in your, if you've subscribed of course, shortly. Let's have a look at our cabochons. Here's my little bird's head. Oh, maybe it's a little bird chasing a bit of butterfly. More. You see something different the other way up. This one's just a just a pretty smudge, really. My mammoth is gone. How's it getting any better than that? All right, guys. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to love and leave you. I will be going live again next week. If you would like to join me, make sure you're signed up on the newsletter um, and you'll get a 24 hours notice. I have already picked a date and a time, but I'm not going to tell you when. I will tell these people 24 hours before. So you need to be signed up on that more than 24 hours before I send out the email to make sure you're on the list. Um, Thank you so, so much for the donation towards my channel. Um, Dorothy, That I'm just so grateful to receive that on my PayPal. Um, very, very grateful. And hey, if any of you would like to buy a, pendant, a cabochon made into a pendant or just cabochons or any of the paintings you see that don't have sold written in the video description, um, get in contact with me and I'm really slack at getting them up on my shop so don't expect them to be there and um, I have yeah shops are messing my head in so if you like it darling you better tell me about it <laughs> um, contact me make an offer I'll let you know how much postage is to wherever you live and um, you can make an offer if we both like that offer, we can go from there. Other than that, I adore you all. Have fun. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever else you feel like doing. Or just watch the ads before my videos. And so that I get paid and can afford to continue creating for you guys. I adore you. Have fun. Bye-bye.